Welcome back to Notre Dame Day. I'm Digger Phelps, and joining me is one of the legends behind the scene. Yeah, he is the Newt Rockney of not just the Glee Club, but also the Notre Dame Symphony Orchestra. And the Glee Club, as we uh, now know, has got a special anniversary coming up. You bet. This is our 100th anniversary as a continuous, uh, continuously operating ensemble. We started up in the fall of, 20, of 1915, and we'll be inviting 500 members of our alumni base back in the fall for our centennial reunion. And so what was it like when you did year one, Dan? Oh, I missed that one, sorry. <laughs> no, but seriously, the Glee Club special. And what they have done and achieved over the years has just been incredible for the university. And I've been an honored to be a part of it. And next to us we have Michael Allen Anderson, who has an objective to tell the real story behind the scenes by writing a book about the Glee Club. That's right, I've written a book uh, celebrating the centennial and recounting the starts and stops of the Glee Club dating back even to the late 19th century and surveying some of the outstanding conductors, one of whom is sitting next to me, of this group, and also the variety of repertoire and the tours that have taken them around the country and indeed around the world. What do you think maybe been the, the greatest moment that the Glee Club has had over 100 years? Well, one of the highlights for sure was uh, uh, seven consecutive appearances on the Ed Sullivan Show wow. from 1949 to 1955 on wow. Easter Sunday. So for seven straight years, the, the Glee Club was a household name. Dan, anything special coming up that we need to know about with this celebration? Uh, well, uh, it so happens we're fortunate that our schedule of European tours has aligned with our centennial, and so we're taking a three-and-a-half-week trip, uh, doing 15 concerts in eight countries for three-and-a-half weeks. So right after graduation, we'll be heading out. So we give, a, give the guys a, another wonderful experience. I must give a little sidebar to you because I'm another big fan of you, and you know why. And let me tell you something about this guy. If you've ever had the chance, and never had the chance, but get the chance to hear the Notre Dame Symphony Orchestra, close your eyes, and you think it's Sir George Schulte leading the Chicago Symphony in Symphony Hall, because you know how I feel about what you do coaching that team. You're too kind. They're unbelievable. Dude. I really mean that. You've heard them. You know what we're Absolutely. talking about. And with the Glee Club and them together, wow, what well, an event for Well, Notre we Dame. all benefit the, from the fact that we just have an extraordinary student body here. These are tremendously talented young people, gifted in so many ways, and one of those great gifts they bring to the table is tremendous musical ability. But you find them from all around the country. I mean, I look at that stage, and you got over 100 up there. We're so grateful they, they come to us. We do some recruiting. Part of our tours, the mission of the tours certainly is to recruit, but we're just uh, we're tremendously blessed to have uh, uh, this tremendous pipeline of gifted young people that want to be a part of it. Are you going to Europe with them on this tour? Not this time. <laughs> oh, really? You've been there, done it? Don't I've need been it. A, yes, yeah. I've been a couple okay. times. Okay. Tell me where in Europe you're going to be. Well, we'll start in Italy. We'll do three concerts in Italy. We're going to move east from there, Ljubljana, Slovenia, and Budapest, Hungary. Wow. We haven't been to those countries. Then we'll head pretty much straight west through Austria and Germany and Switzerland and France, Paris, and then we take a uh, take the channel over to, to London. London, and we'll spend a couple of uh, a week or so doing a couple of concerts in the London area. How many make the trip? About almost 60 this year. Wow. We'll have. Yeah. When's the book coming out? The book will be out in September, and and we'll have our centennial weekend on October 1st through 4th. And we're doing a show here, obviously at Deep. You bet. Actually, uh, actually, we're going to do it down, downtown at, at the, the Morris. Morris. Yeah, right. Okay, in a book yeah. signing. We'll do we'll book signing. We'll have that. One of the football weekends. Mm -hmm. What we're weekend? Gonna, the Centennial Weekend is, is on a, a non-home game weekend, but we will be signing books uh, before that for sure and have the Glee Club appear with us. That's all part of the show. So listen, Dan, you're the best. You know that. Uh, I'm a big fan, and I just want to say that, Michael, for you to do this is a great honor for us at the university to have the real story told behind the scenes of 100 years of something special, the Notre Dame Glee Club. Thank you. Thank both of you. Thanks for having okay. us. Okay.